guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, what we're gonna be doing is a Primark haul though. I am so excited for this. I went into Primark the other day and they had so many cute things. You know when you go into Primark and you can just see there's just so many things you want and you're like picking them one by one with a hanger and then your hand is like hurting because you're carrying so many clothes. That was me like yesterday. I think the last time I went to Primark, even like the last haul I did, I think I remember saying there wasn't even that many like cute things. It was kind of like, I don't know, just kind of picked up a few basics and stuff like that. It just wasn't anything special. But this time for spring, they got cute stuff. And I'm really excited to just show you guys all of it. I got quite a few things. Quite a big bag and it's quite heavy as well. So I'm just so excited to show you all the things that I got. It's very spring, kind of summery as well. Just very like bright colours. I'm just trying to get into the mood of that. Because normally I'm in very like dark muted colours. Because that's how I like to dress like usually. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'll start off with this. I saw this pattern and I loved it. It is so spring and like flowery and floral and I think it looks so nice. I could see maybe someone thinking it looks a bit granny-ish, but I'm really into it. It has like splodges of like, well not splodges, but it's like flowers of blue and green and those two are like kind of low-key my favourite colours. Yeah, I think it just looks so nice. Oh, look at that pattern. It's kind of like watercolours, you know? It's kind of like straight here, right in the front bit, and then at the back, it's like, not ribbed, but you know that kind of stretchy material. So I feel like you can probably size down and this will like stretch, but I just kept to my usual size. So I got a size, so I got a size eight and this was only eight pounds. It's just so good. It's a little cute pair of shorts as well. And the material is kind of like that shirt material. Um, yeah, not this kind of shirt material though, because this is quite like thin, but it's like a bit of like a thicker shirt. I'm bad at describing stuff and I don't know how to describe this for the life of me, but when I zoom in, I think you can kind of like tell what I'm saying. You know that kind of material? If this is even focusing. It's like kind of woven, I think, that kind of material, something like that, but it's really nice. I really like this material. And they have little like frills at the side here and they have pockets, which is nice. Love shorts that have pockets in them. So I'll try this. I think this would go really nicely with like a white top, maybe like a tank top or race the top or something like that but yeah i think a white top would go really nice with this so uh, this is the first thing i got only eight pounds such a bargain i got another pair of shorts and this is way more like just normal jeans but they have these kind of like daddy daddy <laughs> dad slash mom shorts i don't know why i say daddy shorts um yeah and they look like this i really like these and i think i only saw them in this color but i'm sure they'll have them in like the lights of blue and black and stuff because usually they do but I really needed a pair of these. I just love like a baggy jean. I'm not really into like tight stuff in the bottoms. Um, I have this one pair of black jeans and they're so tight on me, but I still wear them because like they're my only pair of like black jeans that actually fit. But sitting down on them, it hurts. Like standing up is fine, walking it's fine, but it's when you sit down, everything kind of like goes to that area, you know, and it's just all tight and horrible. So yeah, I'm a bit worried about this because this is a size eight that I got because I just wasn't sure. And normally I kind of go for a size 10. So yeah, we'll just have to see. But I got this shirt that's again kind of similar material to the first shorts that I showed you, but a bit more thinner. And I thought this was really nice. Like it's quite like just a plain white shirt, but kind of that again woven kind of material. And it's buttoned up and it's cropped, but with like a kind of baggy sleeve kind of thing. And I got this in a size eight and it is a bit oversized as well. So you definitely could size down if you want to, but I wanted to, to be like a bit more baggy. Okay, so the shorts I like, they're very cute and they fit really nicely. I think the shirt probably doesn't go with this because I think because it's quite boxy. These shorts are very cute though. I feel like maybe I probably would wear more of like a white tank top or like a white, you know, racer kind of top kind of thing situation because I think that'd be better. But yeah, I really like these. So here are the shorts and they fit really nicely of like when I'm standing up. Again, I feel like I'm having that kind of similar problem of they are like a bit tight. I feel like they fit nicely now, but I know if I sit down, they probably hurt. Like I'll try sitting down. Um, it's not awful to be fair, but I think I just probably would prefer a bit baggy. So I think I'm definitely gonna try the size 10 just in case it does just like kind of fit more comfortably. But yeah, I feel like these are such like a nice staple kind of jeans to have. And do they go better with this top? Don't know. I feel like with these tops, these boxy tops, when you have like a bigger chest, I feel like it can always be a bit difficult wearing them if they kind of make you look a bit like frumpy, I don't know. Okay, then I'll go through the dresses. So the dresses I got, oh my God, the dresses I got. I saw them and I ran to the, to the rail because it looks so nice. But I got two of the same thing and I'm like, I should definitely just choose one. So can you guys help me? Which one should I choose? Which one do you prefer? I think I do know which one I prefer, but I'll just show you both. 
again the same material as like the first shorts and that white top and it's oh it's so beautiful i just i love how like flowy and like spring it is i think it looks so nice and it has these cute little buttons down below it's kind of like milk maideny kind of style and then you have buttons and then it's like yeah, like that all the way and like a bit of frills at the top as well so we have this beautiful green color which i think looks so nice and then we have the exact same thing but in this more floral print so it looks like this and i think this looks gorgeous look at the flower print it's so nice so I'm not gonna lie, I think I am leaning more towards this one because it just feels a bit more springy with like the floral. I had a feeling like maybe I could have gone down to a size six. So we'll just kind of see how that goes. Um, and this was 15 pounds. So definitely a bit more spenny for Primark of like a dress. But I think the material is really nice and the dress looks so nice. So I feel like it's worth the 15 pounds. Um, so yeah, I got those two. So I'll try those two on and then let me know which one you prefer. So here's the green dress. When it, at the bottom, it kind of like splits in the middle. But it's kind of, to be fair, it's actually pretty much like a maxi dress. But I feel like I do prefer the other one more. Um, but yeah, we'll do side by side. What do you guys think? This one? Or that one? I think I'm liking that one. Even though th that one's actually a bit tighter. I feel like this one, it'd be nice if it was like, just kind of sucked me in a bit. Like, like that? But yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Just slightly. This is a size 8, so... Again, I might try down to a size 6. And I, what I love, like love, that they've done is that with the buttons, you can see it here. Like if you stretch it, it has this like extra thing here. So instead of like pulling it apart where... Wait, so let me move this because you can't see it properly. Instead of like pulling it apart where it's like that and it looks like all weird, you know what I mean? But they have this little strip in here. So even if it does stretch... All you see is the material, you don't see your belly button or like your stomach, which like I hate it, it's like pet peeve, especially when they have buttons here, normally that does that to me, but I love how they have that little extra thing, so it's more coverage and makes your, your outfit look nicer. No one wants to look like they're popping out of whatever they're wearing, but let me know what you guys think still. So the other bits I got, just a few tops and stuff, this top is really nice, I'm pretty sure I saw this like, I feel like Primark has done this before, so it's just a cute little top like this. Again, same material. I feel like Primark's got a theme with this kind of material, but I'm loving it. I really like that kind of woven material. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it is woven, but woven sounding like the correct name to call it. But yeah, I got this. They had this in other colours as well, and I just got this one because it's got lemons on it. So I was like, oh, this is very like springy slash summery. So yeah, and also I'm going on holiday. I feel like I haven't said that. I'm going on holiday, so I'm also kind of doing this shot to find like bits that I can wear on holiday too. And this is a size... Oh yeah, I got a size, oh, it's called linen. That's it, linen. Linen blend. That's the material. I also feel like Primark has had like a couple of things that are quite like dupes of other things. Like they had a Motel Rocks dress. Obviously not literally Motel Rocks, but that pattern of that dress in Primark as well. And they also have this. And I feel like I've been seeing this kind of like everywhere of this kind of style, like for the longest time. Now they have it in Primark and this is so cheap as well. It's only a fiver and I got an extra small in this as well. I don't know if it's gonna fit me, but we'll see. I also got this skirt. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I thought to try it anyways. It's this white skirt, kind of like, you know, straight at the top bit and then like pleated and a bit more flowy at the bottom. So we'll see how that goes as well. This is size six that I got and it's 11 pounds. Okay, didn't need to wear these two at the same time because I feel like it just, it doesn't go. But these tops, I forgot how confusing they are to put on. Like you have like four different strings and you're meant to like kind of do all of that. But it's actually quite cute. If we just ignore the skirt a bit for now, if we just see this, this bit's quite cute. Like I like it. It's kind of like slightly like puffed sleeves on here. And it's nice. This would be nice with like a pair of like blue jeans kind of thing. And then the skirt. The skirt is like kind of cute by itself too, you know. But maybe I'll try it on with this other top. Maybe it'll go a bit better. Also follow me on Instagram. It's saf.ellis. And I post like cute pictures. This top is so nice. I like I like the look of it and stuff like that. But I was kind of expecting it to be like too small. And not like stretchy material or anything. So stretchy. You know you can see that. So stretchy. So it just kind of like moulds to you more. I don't know what this skirt would go with. Can you guys help me? <laughs> what do you guys think would the skirt would go with? Because it's kind of like one of those a bit weird ones. Where it is like just kind of normal kind of tight skirt at the top. But then pleated and like, what was this called? I can't remember what it's called, but kind of like that at the bottom. So I don't know what it would go with, but 
Anyways, at least this top is cute. Definitely would need to wear a different bra though, and I don't know what kind of bra because it has like the hoop thing here. So I feel like whatever I wear, you, you're gonna see it through the hoop, but I can't get away with not wearing one, so. We'll see. Um, also, I didn't even get to touch like, the accessories and things like that in Primark, and I feel like I really need some of those. So I think I'm definitely gonna pop to Primark again before my holiday, just get a few like accessories and things like that, because I feel like that's why I lack. Like I don't really have many like sunglasses or like draw. I mean, to be fair, I've been building up my jewelry bit, so I feel like I have got a bit more. But like cover ups and things like that, I just need more of those kind of things. Oh, like bags, hats. Yeah, things like that. So I think I'm definitely gonna do a Primark haul again soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, then please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.